when I was on the outpost and with the, and the Americans, uh, a sergeant from the rear came up and he wanted to uh, uh, see what combat was really like. And so he came to the outpost and he joined me for the day on the point. We were the forwardmost uh, uh, bunker, if you will, uh, on the hill. And uh, we were standing there and he was looking with his field glasses and, and uh, he said, show me a Chinese, because that's who we faced. We faced the 15th CCF, Chinese Communist Forces. Uh, and, and so I showed him uh, on our BC scope, uh, I showed him sitting Chinese, observing us and calling in fire upon us and so on. And uh, while we were in the process of, of his looking things over, there was a tremendous crack and the only other place I had ever heard that was when you're pulling targets and you're down in the pit uh, in the infantry and they, they're all back on the firing line and you're down in the pit and you can always tell when your target is fired on because of that crack. There's no, no mistaking it. And so uh, and this sergeant said, uh, what the hell was that? And I said, you've just been sniped at. And he said, oh, no, not, not really. I don't know if he had ever pulled targets or had any sense, but in that closed environment, uh, it was the clear crack of a bullet. And uh, so I said, uh, we'll see about that. And there was a log behind us. And so I turned with my bayonet and I dug out the slug and gave it to him. It had gone right between us, just missed each one of us. And so that was a close call, but I gave him that, that uh, bullet and he uh, left. I encouraged him to get off the uh, hill, uh, off the outpost before dark, uh, enemy probes, uh, enemy, uh, uh, you know, coming up and, and trying to knock us off the hill. They did that almost every night. I had uh, nights when I threw, literally threw, boxes of grenades 